Hello there guys, so I've decided to do something a little different, I'm playing a text based game, uh, yeah, I've never done anything like this before, uh, it's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, as you probably can see, uh, yeah, so, we're in, uh, we're the room, you wake up, the room is spinning very gently around your head, or at least it would be, if you could see it, uh, which you can't. It is pitch black. Okay, so, so in this situation where I would uh, turn on a light, uh, so let's turn on a light. Uh, oh, oh my god. Okay, this is going well so far, guys. We're we're we've turned on a light. And the bedroom's a mess. Look at that. Let's clear up the bedroom. We're gonna clear up the bedroom. Ah, oh, yeah. uh, you don't know the word. Well, this is a good start. Uh, okay, let's read on. I didn't actually read past the fact that the bedroom is a mess. Uh, there's a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There is a wash basin, a chair with a tatty dressing gown slung over it, and a window with a curtain that's down. Near the exit, leading south, is a phone. There is a screwdriver and a toothbrush. Okay. So I guess this is a picture of the... the oh, let's look in the dressing gown, I guess. Um, Look, uh, pick up dressing, should we put on the dressing gown? Put on dressing gown. Uh, you're not holding the dressing gown. Okay, hold gown. You can't reach from the bed. Get up. Are we still in bed? Very difficult women are still in bed. Okay, now, uh, hold, <laughs> hold gown. Yes! Oh, putting on my dressing gown in the morning is not normally this difficult. But hey, our score is still zero after four moves. So, you know, uh, you notice something in the pocket, ooh, look in pocket, it's hard to open or close the pocket unless you're wearing it, oh, did we not put it on, okay, where, oh. you're now wearing your gown, yay, look in pocket, oh my god, we found quite a few things there, a thing your aunt gave you which you don't know what it is, a buffered anal... anal... what? Guide, what does this do? Oh, consult guide about buffered... Will it tell me what it is? You can't see... Oh. Um, let's have a look. It looks like a tablet. Or something. A thing. Pocket fluff. Uh, it looks like a tablet. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do something with uh, eat. Maybe you swallow the. Ah! We're moving into calm down. A terrible head. Oh, we had a headache. I see. Oh, well, this is. We're still in our bedroom. Uh, should we? Should we brush our teeth? Uh, pick. Oh, I need to brush. As you pick up the truth, with a tree outside the wood, there is no casual relationship. <laughs> oh, I picked up my toothbrush and, and a tree blew down. Oh, how, how do you explain this to the neighbours? I'm so sorry, I was only brushing my teeth. Oh, but, but the tree fell down, so don't brush your teeth ever again. Um, no, kids, brush your teeth, it's healthy. Uh, wait, outside tree outside the window? Oh god. Uh, let's open the curtains. Uh, and a large yellow bulldozer is advancing on your home. Um, great. Let's pick up the screwdriver and get out of there. And leave. Yeah. Fine. Pick up screwdriver first. Taken. Leave. Let's get out of there. Let's leave. Okay. We rush down the stairs in a panic. Yes, because our house is going to be... This is a little bit similar to the uh, original story, but you know, I, I can't remember it. So we're just gonna carry on uh, as if I don't know what's going Oh, we have 10 points. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I have no idea how good that is, but you know. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. You rush down the stairs in a panic. This is the enclosed room porch of your front garden, nice to the south, and you can re-enter your home. Why would I want to re-enter my home? 
on the door, there's a pile of junk mail. Let's read, let's read the mail. And uh, our house is going to get, uh, like, bulldozed down, but they're going to take the time out to read the mail. <sighs> Dated to a letter from the council. A demolition order? The definite date of demolition is today's date. Well, we need to we need to go south. Let's pick up the letters and and then, then let's let's go south. Yeah. Oh yeah. A path around to the northeast and northwest. The country lane is visible south. All that lies between your home. I don't want to. <laughs> right. Let's think about this logically. Well, there's a rumble slowly towards your home. Right, what's going to happen if I don't get out of the way, right? They have to stop for me. Let's let's just stand in front of... Because that seems the logical thing to do, right? Oh, it could easily manoeuvre around me. I'm getting too close. Uh, move to... No. What do they do in the film? I have no idea. What do they do in the film? In the movies and in the books, when they want to stop, they lie in front. Oh my God! Lie in front of the bulldozer. You lie down in the path of the advancing. This is so ridiculous. Brosser yells at you to, for Christ's sake, move. Tell him to shut up. Uh, you can't talk to a bulldozer. <laughs> Let's just stay there. I'm, I'm gonna stay in front of the bulldozer. The ground is shaking. I'm gonna stay. I'm. I'm just gonna. Ah. Oh. I'm just gonna keep staying. I will be killed if I don't get the hell out of the way. Well, you know, I can't. I can't live if living is without my home. <laughs> it's gesticulating wildly. I'm just gonna stay. Um, if I die, then you know. My family will get loads of compensation money out of it, you know? I'm sure we have insurance or something. Ah, oh, moments later, your friend Ford. Oh, Ford! Hello, Ford. He hardly seems to notice your predicament, but keeps glancing nervously at the sky. He says, hello, Arthur. Oh, I'm called Arthur now. Uh, that's nice. Takes a towel from his battered leather satchel and offers it to you. What? Uh, tell Ford to stop the bulldozer. Can I... I don't want your towel. Refuse towel. I don't want the towel. Help me. No, refuse again. No, I'm not taking your towel. You say you ask Ford, what about my hair? He looks startled and guilty. He starts to say something. He starts to say something else and stops. Suddenly, he seems to see the bulldozer for some time, stops saddling to say things and starts. What? Does that sentence make any sense? He seems to come to a momentous decision. Says he has something of earth shattering importance. Oh my god, we must go to the horse and groom. Pointing toward Professor, you exclaim, but that man wants to knock my house down. Okay, although they seem deeply engrossed in conversation. Um. Okay, let's uh, just listen. Uh, we're just gonna stay, wait for him to finish his conversation. We stay. What is it, the professor? Prosser? Prosser? Professor? What? Ah, oh, Prosser steps forward and lies down and pulls it. You stand up. Oh, okay. Wait for Ford to say something. <laughs> I have no idea, this is so awkward. Wait. Ford urging you to follow. It seems like I can just use stay or wait, and the game will work for me. Um, so this 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 is good. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna win the part because I'm gonna fo I'm gonna follow Ford. I just follow Ford, and I guess I guess we're now on the street. So so I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, we're gonna go to the horse and gloom or whatever it was called. Bye.